I don't understand how nobody's talking about this. Hey, it's Glamham. Well, who knew we'd be so enthralled by the not a weather balloon, the advanced Thunderhead balloon system by Raven Aerostar. I'll say it again. This is not a weather balloon. These stratospheric marvels can soar up to 92,000 feet. They can hover over specific areas using wind power and solar power. These puppies are also perfect for surveillance and communications, which is why they get deployed by the military. They can also collect collect lots of fancy environmental data and stay up there for months. In fact, one of these, HBAL01, broke a record and stayed up there for 94 days. These are the Navy SEALs of balloons. Raven Industries, the parent company of Raven Aerostar, is based in South Dakota, which explains why our viral HBAL728 left from there. And guess what? There's an app. OS Thunderstorm allows operators to control these things from vast distances away, like you could be thousands of miles away and navigate this balloon that is floating 15 miles in the sky. Adding to the recent mystery is HBAL 728 made a little pit stop in Asheville, North Carolina. We don't know why, could be gathering like environmental data. NOAA has this company there, so that could explain the pit stop. Maybe Raven Aerostar is doing a collab with NOAA. What all this means is this is an ideal altitude for surveillance or monitoring. The balloon's up in the stratosphere, it's got little turbulence and minimal interference from weather. Its heading suggests it's following a predetermined flight corridor to a specific area of interest. But what's it doing up there? It could be observing infrastructure, natural resources or environmental changes, collecting data on wind patterns, temperature or natural gases for NOAA. It could be mineral related, scanning for geological anomalies using remote sensing, Side note, remote sensing means collecting data about an area or object from a distance without being there. It works by detecting and measuring reflected or emitted energy like heat or light from the Earth's surface using sensors on drones, satellites, or balloons. At 60 to 90,000 feet, a balloon can observe a large swath of land or ocean, like around 124 miles worth. They fly above where most radar systems are doing their thing and their slow movement and high altitude makes them difficult to detect or intercept. Things that these handy things can do at this altitude. Monitor troop movements, strategic locations or infrastructure. Track deforestation, agricultural activity or natural resource extraction. Monitor disaster scenarios. The height that HVAL 728 is traveling makes it squarely in the middle of this whole surveillance thing. As others have quickly noted, the West Coast also has one of these elite balloons in the air right now. So the US is flanked by two super balloons. Coincidence? I don't think so. But so this video doesn't run too long, I'll save that for another video. Let me know what you make of the whole balloon thing and the little stopover in Asheville, and I will see you in the comments. Take care.